Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering Graphics through CAD. I am Rakesh Valasa. In this video lecture, I will tell you how to draw the given practice problems in easy way in AutoCAD software. Let us see the given practice problems. First one is to divide a line with length 121 mm into 7 equal parts. Here, I have drawn uh, one line that length is 121 mm and divide into 7 equal parts. The second one is to bisect and trisect a given right angles. Here right angles means 90 degrees. You can see here. I have drawn this uh, one right angle and divide into 2 equal parts. And also I have drawn the right angle and divide into 3 equal parts. See the third question. To construct an equilateral triangle given the length of the side is 35 mm. Okay, by using polygon tool, I have constructed 35 mm equilateral triangle. Next, fourth question is to draw the semicircle with the diameter 45 mm. See here the fourth problem. I have constructed one circle with a diameter 45 mm and trim the um, half of this portion. Okay, let us see how to construct the given uh, practice problems in AutoCAD software. First open new drawing sheet and do the settings. Already I did a few important settings like units, dimension style manager, uh, object snap settings, limax settings, UCS icon settings and zoom settings. Let us see uh, first problem is to divide a line with length 121 mm into 7 equal parts by using line command L enter draw the 121 mm length space by first point uh, now turn on ortho mode the shortcut key is F8 otherwise you can uh, choose from status bar this length is 121 mm just enter 121 enter See here. Okay, I have drawn this 121 mm line. Now, now the uh, question is divide a line into seven equal parts. For that purpose, I am using one command that name is divide. D I V is the shortcut key for divide. D I V enter. Select the object to divide. Select this object. Click enter. It is asking that enter the number of segments. In the given question, he has clearly mentioned that that is 7. Enter 7 and click enter button. Okay, now the line is divided into 7 equal parts. But uh, it is not appearing. So that's why here I am changing the point style. The shortcut key for point style, DDP type. DDP type enter. Okay, by using this command, uh, we can change the point style. Here... Initially, the default point shell is dot. Now, I am changing from this dot to another symbol. Now, I am choosing this one. Then, click on OK. See here. Now, the given line 121 mm is divided into 7 equal parts. Let us see if you have any doubt. You can also give the dimension by using linear dimension. D, L, I, enter. Give the dimension first point. This is end point. 17 mm. Similarly, you can repeat the dimension for remaining all segments. Second one. See the third one. Fourth one. See the fifth one. Six. And also give the last segment. This is the solution for the problem number 1. To divide a line with length 121 mm into 7 equal parts. If you have any doubt, you can also give the total length. Repeat the same, uh, same uh, tool that is DLI. Linear dimension. This is start point and this is my end point. Give the dimension. Yes. This is the problem number 1. You can also give the... Question number here by using circle C enter. Draw one circle and give the number by using text command T enter. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सी द सेकंड क्वेश्चन टू बाइसेक्ट एंड ट्राइसेक्ट ए गिवन राइट एंगल्स ओके फॉर सेकंड प्रॉब्लम वी नीड टू ड्रा टू राइट एंगल्स हियर राइट एंगल मींस 90 डिग्रीज बाय यूजिंग लाइन टूल नाउ आई एम कंस्ट्रक्टिंग वन राइट एंगल हियर आई एम टेकिंग द राइट एंगल लेंथ इज 20 एमएम टू जीरो एंटर एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल आल्सो टू जीरो एंटर ओके ही इज आस्किंग दैट टू बाइसेक्ट एंड ट्राइसेक्ट ए गिवन राइट एंगल्स दैट मींस टू डिवाइड द 90 डिग्रीज इनटू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स एंड to divide the 90 degrees in three equal parts for that purpose uh, i need to draw one arc by using arc command a enter c enter now locate the center point of the arc now draw specific start point of arc and this is the end point of arc okay now copy this object c o enter select this one duplicate from this point to this one because in the second question two bits are there one is bisect second one is trisect that's why i have duplicated this object now uh, use the divide divide command div here we need to choose arc for bisect or trisect the given right angle tell so this arc it is asking that enter the number of segments i am choosing 2 click enter see here uh, if you have any doubt you can join uh, this point and this center point and give the angle d a n we know that 90 by 2 means 45 degrees this horizontal line this inclined line 45 degrees you can also dimension for uh, this one second one Select these lines. Okay, this is the way to divide the uh, bisect a given right angle. See the second one, uh, trisect a given right angle. You can apply same procedure. D I V enter. Select this arc. Enter the number of segments. Try means three. Three enter. See here. Now draw the lines. from this point and base point that means center point similarly this one you can also give the dimension angular dimension d a n d a n means dimension for angular click enter select this two lines 30 degrees we know that 90 by 3 means each angle is 30 correct repeat the same di same tool that means angular dimension you can give second you can give the third one also yes this is the solution for problem number 2 okay give the question numbers copy c o enter copy the problem number 1 to second problem you can change the number this Problem number is two. Okay. See the third question. To construct an equilateral triangle given length of the side is 35 mm. Here equilateral triangle means uh, this triangle sides are equal and equal angles. That is the meaning of equilateral triangles. All edges are equal. Each length of the side is 35 mm. Okay, for third problem, you can use polygon tool. P O L polygon enter. Enter the number of sides. We know that triangle having three sides, so take three. Three enter. Uh, in the given problem, he has clearly mentioned that length is given. That is 35 mm. So take edge E enter. Space pay first end point. Space pay first end point. Next is space pay uh, second end point. That is thirty five. Three five enter. Now give the dimension. D L I linear dimension. Click enter. This is my start point, and this is my end point. Give the dimension. 
This is the solution for the problem number 3. To construct an equilateral triangle given the length of the side is 35 mm. Okay, if you have any doubt, you can give the dimension for other two sides and you can also give the dimension, angular dimension D A N. Click enter. This side and this side. 60 degrees. This is 120. D A N. Enter. Select any two edges. 60 correct give the problem number copy this number from here to here this question number is 3 the last problem is to draw the semicircle with the diameter 45 mm we know that how to construct the circle with the radius or diameter we know that semicircle means half of the circle so first we need to draw one circle then remove the rem half of the circle the, the diameter is how much 45 mm take circle command c enter space by center point next it is he has given the diameter so you can choose only diameter not radius the default is space by radius so that's why i am choosing diameter d Diameter is 45. 4 pi enter. 45. See here. He has clearly given that 45 mm. Now draw the one diameter by using line command L enter. Just you can move the mo uh, you can move the mouse. It's showing uh, quadrant. First quadrant and second quadrant. I have, I have drawn the horizontal diameter. Now Remove this portion by using trim TR double enter. Remove this portion now. Give the dimension DLI 45 mm. Otherwise, you can also use uh, diameter symbol that is DDI because he has given in terms of diameter. So, DDI enter select this arc. See here, you can also give the dimension like this both are correct you can give the 45 mm this way or you can give this way mostly uh, this is the way is correct because he in the problem he has clearly mentioned that semicircle diameter 45 mm now give the problem number co and enter select this text and copy from here to here change the number this is 4 Yes. Okay, this is the way to draw the problems uh, in AutoCAD software. After completion of this solution, you need to change the point style. DDP type. Change the point style from this, uh, this cross symbol to this dot. Click on OK. See here. Okay, finally, you, you need to uh, fit this solution in the title block, then you can take the printout. I hope this problem is, this solution very uh, clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel and share to your friends.